No, look, I mean, there's always going to be a lot of competitive fire in a Nash's Test match. There's no doubt about that. Both sides expect it. But, you know, the, the couple of words that were exchanged, which I didn't think was particularly over the top on either side, uh, to be honest, doesn't win or lose you a Test match, you know. And, uh, you know, for us to be worrying about that side of things is taking our eye on what's actually important, which is um, our performances, which weren't good enough. Do you intend keeping the same 11 for Melbourne? Excuse me? Do you intend keeping the same 11 for Melbourne? Uh, as I said, we're, we're not going to rule anything out at this stage. Um, but we've got a few days to, to take stock of the situation. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't think there'll be wholesale changes because it's not a time to panic. The weapons are very distinctive pitch and a very distinctive challenge. Does that, in a way, make it easier to move on from? Um... I don't know. I mean, we just don't know what the conditions are going to be like in the next two, two pitches. So um, I think it's, you'd be unwise not to try and learn lessons from every game of cricket you play, and, and we intend to do that. Um, you know, one of the things we pride ourselves on is, is being a pretty resilient bunch, and uh, we're disappointed to lose the game in the manner we have done, but, you know, we've always bounced back well in the past, and there's no reason why we can't do that. I'm not sure. We haven't discussed that at this stage. I think our tour manager will be fretting if we're trying to get too many flights early. So, you know, we may just have to chill out for a day or so. How big a decision will it be for Ricky Ponting and Sykes whether or not to play in Melbourne as opposed to I don't know. I mean, that, that's always a kind of an individual thing on how your hands feel around your bat, to be honest. Um, it's never so much the pain. It's as if it restricts your, your ability to bat. So, yeah, that's a decision you'll have to make. Uh, well, I think it was harder for them in this game because Graham Swan obviously didn't bowl as much. Um, so, you know, it's, and having sort of come through two tough test matches. But at the same time, you know, um, I wouldn't criticise what our bowlers did because I think they did a pretty good job, really. Uh, it was more the, the batsmen that, that were to blame. Yeah, you know, Um, we didn't necessarily expect it, but you know there was quite a healthy wind blowing. So, yeah, as a batsman, you just got to react to what's coming down at you, and we didn't do that well enough. Um, you know, it was a good spell of bowling. There's no doubt about it, and all credit to him for coming back the way he did. Uh, but he's always been a dangerous customer. There's no doubt about it. He's he's got the ability to bowl good balls. Um, you know, we've got to be better in terms of keeping those good balls out and then scoring off the bad ones. Jim. No. And did you uh, accept that while well, you're fighting against anything like complacency and anything to do like that, that looking at the bigger picture, maybe there's a feeling of relaxation about the side, just everything going so well, families are rising. Just a, not, there's a nice feeling that you've had coming into this game. I don't think so. No, I mean, uh, you know, there was quite a nice feeling after the first day when we bowled him out for 260 odd. There was quite a nice feeling at. An hour into play on the second day, but then things went wrong because we didn't, you know, we didn't grab that opportunity. So I don't think that was anything to do with how we were feeling before the game. I think we just didn't react well at a certain given state in the game. And you know, we've said all along that uh, the side that's going to win the series is the one that uh, grabs those crucial sessions by the scruff of the neck. And we didn't do it in this Test match. We had an opportunity, we didn't do it. We did do it in Adelaide. Uh, and we're going to make sure we do it in Melbourne. Yeah, I did, there was there was nothing in it for the spinner really. I, I mean, he did well to get a couple of wickets in the first innings, um, but there was no turn, and you know, the ball sort of skidded onto the bat pretty well. So, I, in those circumstances, it's always going to be hard for a spinner to exert any sort of pressure, which you know we all know is is how spinners get their wickets. So, uh, it was just one of those things. You know, again, Australia played him pretty well and played him pretty positively. But you know, the remaining two wickets in the series, I think, should suit him more than than this one did. Uh, yeah, he bowled really well, no doubt about it. Um, 
uh, you know, he got a lot of balls in the right area. And um, I think that was probably the basis of, of their performances, that all four seamers kind of uh, were applying pressure at both ends. So uh, all credit to the way they bowled. Um, but, you know, I don't think we've seen anything in this match that we haven't seen before. We've just got to be better at, at playing it, to be honest.